I wrote a list of all the things I didn't know before October 7th, and I'd like to read them for you if you have a minute. I didn't know about the Ottoman Empire, Theodore Herzl, the father of Zionism. I didn't even know what Zionism was. I didn't know about the Havara Agreements. The year 1917 didn't ring any bells, the Balfour Decora Declaration. I knew Israel, that's all I knew. I grew up in an evangelical Christian household and I was taught to unwaveringly, unquestionably stand with Israel. I didn't know it was a made up state. I thought it was the same Israel in the Bible. I thought Muslims, Christians, and Jews had been fighting over the same land since the beginning of time. I didn't know there was a Palestine. I didn't know everything I associated with Israel, the food, the culture, was stolen from the Palestinians. I knew there was a wall. I knew there was a wall between Israel and another country, but I didn't know the name of the other country. I didn't know of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. I thought it was just a wall separating the two countries. The dates 1948, 1967, 2005 didn't mean anything to me. I had never heard of the British Mandate, the PLO, the Oslo Agreements, the Six Day War, Hamas. I didn't know about the land, sea, air, and trade blockade. Occupied territory wasn't a part of my vocabulary. I didn't know about APAC. I didn't know my country was under the control of another country. I knew our government was corrupt. I knew our politicians had more than likely been bought out by lobbyists and corporations. But I really did think there was two parties. I really did think those two parties stood for something. I knew about Black Rock and Rockefeller, but I didn't know about the Secret Covenant. I knew celebrities didn't really care about us, but I thought they cared about something. I thought being an ambassador meant something. I thought the fundraisers were actually getting money to the people who needed it. I thought the UN and the World Food Program actually meant something. I thought international law meant something. I didn't know about the Arab countries were so divided. I hadn't memorized the map of the Middle East and where each country stood in this conflict. I didn't know what a kafia was or its significance. I didn't know about the dance of freedom. I didn't know about the names or faces of anyone in Palestine. I didn't know such a passionate, faithful, steadfast people existed. I didn't know of their strength, their suffering. I didn't know these were God's people. I didn't know Jerusalem and Bethlehem were in Palestine. I didn't know G Jesus was a Palestinian refugee. I didn't know how beautiful Palestine was before all of this started. I didn't know how many times they've had to rebuild. I didn't know about the Intifada. I didn't know about Israel's involvement and all the other genocides taking place around the world. I didn't know it was all on purpose. That is, was systematically planned. I didn't know about the constant raids, the kidnappings, the arrests, the skin bank, the stolen bodies, the harvesting organs, the human trafficking, the connection to Jeffrey Epstein. I didn't know about the hate they taught in the Hebrew schools from such an early age or the mandatory time served in the military. I didn't know the cruelty. I didn't know an entire nation could so easily con be convinced that another people didn't deserve to exist. I never knew such a lack of humanity. I have never met such pompous, propagandized, brainwashed, entitled, whiny, bratty, hypocritical, sociopathic people. I didn't know what a settler was or that none of the people or leaders were even from there. I knew about Cop City, but I didn't know about its ties to the IDF. I didn't know about Ben-Gurion or the Canal. I didn't know anything about the religion of Islam, the Quran, or what it meant to be a Muslim. I had heard of Assalamu alaikum, but not inshallah, if God will, if God wills it. Mashallah, God has willed it. Al Alhamdulillah, thank God. Subhanallah, praises to God. Allahu Akbar, God's the greatest. I didn't know the power of cognitive dissonance. I didn't know how unaffected my friends and family would be by this. I didn't know I could bring up any other subject, no matter how controversial, no matter how niche, that all conspiracy theories were free to be discussed, but that the truth about Palestine could not. I didn't know the dead stares I would receive how quickly the subject would be changed, or how silent the people I used to go to church with would be. I didn't know Jesus' birthplace could be bombed during Christmas without so much of a peep from the pulpit. I never thought I would see our flag meshed with another country's flag. 
or that I would see their flag displayed next to ours. I never thought I would see such die-hard, gun-toting, Bible-thumping Americans be so accepting and so gung-ho about another country having so much power in their country. I stayed confused about the lack of outrage from the everyday American struggling paycheck to paycheck, knowing $10 million a day of their tax money goes to another country's free health care, education, and genocide. How happy they are to support such a terrorist state. How confused they are about who their true enemy is. And I didn't know about Yemen, the country, the people, the history, their spirit. I didn't know they were the heroes and we were the terrorists. I didn't know the truth about Russia, Iran, and China, or why we've been taught that they were the bad guys our entire lives. I didn't know it was all lies. I didn't know it was all one big show, one big facade. I didn't know the plans for this genocide were methodically written in 2009, or that you could go on national TV and call for the ethnic cleansing of a group of people with not even so much as a verbal reprimand. I never thought I would see the things that I've seen or heard the foul things that I've heard. I never knew our world leaders were such shameful, cowardly, money-hungry creatures, or that there were so many genocidal maniacs that could go unchecked, even protected. I never thought I would see an entire population bombed and starved to death while everyone that had the power to stop it would just sit back and let it happen. I didn't know the stronghold Zionists had over the world or how powerful we could be when we all came together to take them down. I didn't know about war tax resistance or the BDS list or all the ways to protest. I didn't know about SJP or Jewish Voices for Peace or all the activists that have been fighting this for generations. I didn't know all the psychotic links they would go to to suppress this. I never knew how the Holocaust could happen, but now I do.